Playoffs are upon us. And we have Playoffs? some very interesting first Playoffs? round series, one of which is between the Golden State Warriors mm -hmm. and the Denver Nuggets. Yep, yep. And we might see the return of Wardell Stephen Curry. Can he swing this series? So, like all of us, I remember the greatness of how the Splash Brothers just, you know, took the league by storm, won three championships. One before KD, one with KD. Steph, the unanimous MVP. The Splash mm -hmm. Brothers, best shooting backcourt. Mark Jackson told us this 10 years ago. And Draymond Green became an all-defensive performer. But since Clay got injured these last couple of years, they've been able to build out their depth. Yep. So now Jordan Poole is at certified bucket. Yes, he is. This year, Kaminga got a chance to play more meaningful minutes. People sleep on the fact that Andrew Wiggins started in the All-Star game. Maybe not deservedly so, but he did start in the All-Star game. Just think about that. And so getting Steph back to this team, Steve Kerr on the sideline, I want to be like they're just as good as Phoenix. They're not. They're not. No, don't say that. I want to say, say that they're just as good as Memphis. They're not. But they're not. And the thing that reminds me of that is their big three has played a grand total of 11 minutes together this year. That's wild. 11 that is wild. total minutes so I'm looking forward to Steph coming back injuries are going to have a lot to say about the Western Conference playoff race in particular other than the Suns if they could stay healthy but I want to see the Steph before January mm -hmm. not the Steph that was playing in January because he struggled he really did without Draymond Green his shooting really mm -hmm. struggled and hopefully they can have their big three and they will play more than 11 minutes together and, and and by the way, when I say struggle for Steph Curry, that's relative. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That's relative. Yes, of course. Okay. So, Mr. Rose. Yes, indeed. We don't have to pick the series yet, but I think I'm leaning Denver. Don't mm. tell me but you mentioned injuries, and injuries wow. will play a major part really? in the playoffs, as they always do. But there are some players that may or may not play in this playoff series season that I want to discuss with you. We start okay. in the Eastern Conference. Ben like Simmons. The East Coast rocks. With the Nets. Ben Simmons could be available for the Nets. There are reports that maybe he will play. Do you expect to see him? Did you see his fit last night? What you think about his fit? No, the green didn't work for me. Green did not it work. It was just for the me. wrong color. The green I like didn't the work fit. for me. And, 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 but also the, the the long white socks and the white shoes didn't go with it. it just a, but but he stayed fresh though. I don't anticipate him being a factor in this year's playoff. I don't either. Like I want I want to say into a microphone, Ben Simmons is gonna come back. He's going to play 20 minutes a game. He's played for a he's year. going to be a factor. But, like, if he's getting toward all shots in his back and he hasn't played since last June, I can't I can't bet on that player to be effective in this year's playoffs. I hope that he is. We shall see. You and I always joke that Luka Doncic is always banged up. He's always playing with Kaiser Soze. However, that calf injury looked pretty bad in the final regular season game, and he's now in the playoffs. How impactful do you think that injury will be on the, the Mavs' success? When you watch Luka play and you watch the Joker play, they dominated just like LeBron and Steph did. The difference is when you're younger, you can carry the team because you can stay healthy usually. Yeah. That was the difference. And as long as they have Luka... They can win a first-round series, just like you just picked the Joker potentially to beat the Warriors. Without Luka, mm -mm. Wallace. <laughs> Wallace. Another player looming that could potentially come back, Kawhi Leonard. We saw the Clippers mm. last night lose to the Timberwolves. Paul George had a great game. Can they add Kawhi to this team? He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. <laughs> you know anything about the history of Kawhi Leonard? He ain't coming he ain't back. Come back. So we will move on to a player <laughs> that will come back. He ain't coming back. Robert Williams had a torn meniscus. Mm -hmm. However, they're already saying that he could potentially join the Celtics in the first round. Game changer. Robert Williams plays. They beat the Nets. Ooh. In, in five. But he's not going to be there for game one. Robert Williams doesn't play. Talk to me. Seven game series. Seven game series. And he he his return may be the deciding factor. If he does not play, they likely don't win. 
Well, I just picked the Denver Nuggets to beat the Warriors in the first round. And, and? And there could be a potential. Who are you picking in the next Boston? I'm gonna wait. I'm waiting for that one. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting till I'm, I'm waiting till I have to pick that one. But there could be potential for Jamal Murray to return. Mm. Could you see a world in which the Joker gets his running mate, his his teammate, his duo? Jeez, I just realized I'm three for three. Ben Simmons, Kawhi, Murray. I don't think Murray should come back. You don't think so? No. Because like, there's a risk versus reward here. Mm. The reward is he comes back and they win the first round. The risk is that he gets hurt again. We saw with KD in the finals that coming back for the playoffs without any warm-up games, without working yourself back, that, there's, not a long, there's not a long history of players doing that and it being successful. And for me, this being 20 years doing this, I'm wrong a lot. Mm -hmm. When you say that about KD, it reminds me. When I go on TV, and I'm like, hey, man, I know people that was at the workout. KD shouldn't come back. I look down at my phone, people mad at me. Team texting, texting my boss, texting the producer. Everyone's why is, is Jalen saying, saying this? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mad at you. Yeah, they mad at me. You know what I mean? It's the finals. Like, you're supposed to be up in the game. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, KD shouldn't play. I know somebody that was at the workout. They say the workout didn't go well. Then he got hurt the next game. Yes, he did. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.